Hello all, this video is on MyFair RFID which is 13.56 MHz high frequency type RFID unlike EM18 which is 125 kilohertz this is the high frequency RFID which is capable of read and write this is built on NXP IC 522 which has three protocols SPI, I2C and UART but if you want to use I2C or UART protocol you have to either remove the IC and disconnect EA pin from ground or you have to drill a hole here so that the EA pin is disconnected from ground for now uh, this is this board is only SPA enabled this board accompanies with uh, two tags one is uh, credit card size and another one is uh, key uh, keychain type for demo purpose we'll be using Arduino Uno First, let us see the connection between Arduino Uno and this RC522. This RC522 is a 3.3 volt uh, device. So never use 5 volt as power source. Connect the uh, VCC to 3.3 volt of Arduino. Take care to connect 3.3 only and ground to ground. The other connections are SDA to pin 10. SDA is nothing but slave select SS. Here it is represented as SDA. SCK to pin 13. MOSI to pin 11. MISO to pin 12. And the RST to pin 9. All the SPA pins of uh, Arduino you know, are utilized. So we will be using only the SPA protocol of uh, 522. Connect the Arduino you know, to USB of PC. The power LED on 522 will uh, glow. First, we'll uh, install the library. From manage libraries, uh, search for uh, 522 and select the library. That is one and only library that is developed by Miguel Belbo. Select the library and then install the latest version. You need internet connection for this uh, installation. Once uh, installed, under examples, you can see a wide range of uh, code samples. First, let us uh, dump the use the dump info code. Select the dump info example code. In this code, uh, first the all the connections are uh, defined. The connection between Arduino Uno and uh, RC522. If you are using Arduino Mega, the connection uh, are given as shown. In the code, first we enable SPA, that is, we include the uh, library spa.h and then uh, mfrc522.h and we initialize uh, mfrc522 with uh, that is instance of 522 using the RST pin and SS pin we use PCD underscore init to initialize 522 and uh, PCD underscore dump version to serial which dumps the details to serial uh, that is which displays the UUID and the type of card and a void loop uh, we verify the uh, card presence and then we verify the whether the card is with UID and then we continue and using the mfrc underscore pacc underscore dump to serial function we display the block of data upload the code and then open the serial monitor bring your tag near the uh, reader you should keep the tag for at least uh, 10 seconds so that all the data is read if you remove the tag in between you will get error so to dump all the info you have to keep at least for 10 seconds now the complete 1k data is displayed on the top is the U UUID and then the type of card which is 1k that is the 1k memory of tag organized in 16 sectors the sectors are from 0 to 15 and each sector has uh, four blocks block 0 to block 3 uh, each sector 0 to 15 sector each sector has four blocks block 3 of uh, all sector is called sector trailer 
and it is not available for data you cannot write data on this uh, block 3 block 0 of uh, sector 0 has UID that is the first uh, 4 by 0 to 3 has UID of the card and others uh, have the manufacturer data each block can hold 16 bytes of data that is 0 to 15 16 sectors into 4 blocks into 16 bytes of data uh, puts to total around uh, 1024 bytes that is 1k of memory uh, block 3 of all sectors is called sector trailer and it is not available for data only the other blocks you can write data block 3 of any sector you cannot write data it is called sector trailer and it has got two keys key a that is 6 bytes from 0 to 5 default is the ff but uh, key is not visible you can see only 00 for security reasons and key b is 6 bytes from 10 to 15 default is ff and it is visible uh, the access bit of uh, uh, block 3 is 1 and it is defined by bytes 6 7 8 this bytes determines the read write capability of other blocks of the same sector so all the sectors block Z, block 3 is called uh, sector trailer and uh, byte 678 has the uh, definition of access bits which uh, defines the capability read write capability of other blocks of the same sector this uh, keys for a sector are provided for protection and security authentication so the other blocks you can write data that is uh, block 0 1 2 you can write data all sectors block 3 that is the trailer sector you cannot write data and also uh, block 0 of sector 0 is not writable it has got uh, manufactured data information now let us see the next example in this example we will provide a name to, to a tag for identification so any number of tags can be used and this uh, example can be used for attendance project in this code we define a struct rfid tag in c++ array with the different types of variables are defined by struct here uid is a byte type and name is a char type so these two are different types of variables so we cannot uh, use array we have to use struct then we initialize the struct with the uuid of tags and provide a name against the your UUID first you have to collect all the UUIDs of the tags you are going to use using the dump info or UUID code and then feed in the initialize the struct array with the UUIDs the UUIDs should be prefixed by uh, hex 0x and then provide a name for your tag only the list of uh, the idea is that only the list of uh, uh, cards in this uh, struct will be displayed and the others will not be printed the mfrc522 object is created with the ss pin and the rst pin parameter and then inside void setup we begin the spi and then initialize mfrc522 and a void loop we get the uid of the tag as byte and then get the length of the uid and then we print the name we registered accordingly if tag is not in the list it outputs as a wrong tag and if the correct tag is uh, shown it will display the name which we have provided against the uh, id so this uh, example can be used for uh, attendance project where we provide a list of tags and names and we print out the name according to the tag shown
now compile this code and then uh, click on upload and then open the serial monitor now place a tag that is in the list it will display the name of the tag if a wrong tag that is not in the list is shown it will uh, print out as wrong card and uh, the tags in the list will be uh, printed the name of the tag will be printed we'll see the next example which is a read write example here we'll uh, write some data on uh, a sector on a sector or a block 2 and then we'll uh, read back the data uh, remember you cannot write any data on block 3 of any sector and then block 0 of uh, uh, sector 0 also not uh, writable only on other blocks you can write upload this code to see the data we have uh, uh, we have fed you can upload the uh, dump info uh, code and then under uh, uh, serial monitor you can see the data uh, dumped we have written some data on uh, uh, block 2 so you can see under uh, sector uh, uh, 0 block 2 some data written to verify whether the correct data is written you can google for uh, hex to uh, text converter and then open the online uh, hex to text converter Now copy this uh, block 2 data, hex data and then paste it here. Use control C and control V to paste and then convert the data, convert the hex code. You can see the correct uh, uh, data which we fed as string. So like this we can write on uh, tags. Thank you for watching.